You and him. Sorry, Mas. I've moved on. I'm afraid you've uh, missed your shot. I mean, you're not even gay. I don't like labels, but I like him a lot. And we've got so much in common. Despising you, for example. What happened to you? Nothing. I'm still twisted. Just not twisted around your little finger. <laughs> it's a clever wordplay. Thank you. I'll tell you what it is. You wanted me, but you didn't think I wanted you back, so you grabbed the first piece of monkey meat that you could find. It's charming. When, in actual fact, he hates you. That's not true. Isn't it? Go on, tell her. You had your chance. I wasted months of my life on you. Never again. Face him, McQueen. You're on your own. Go on, then. You don't know him. You don't know what he's capable of. Oh, I'm well aware of Liam's past indiscretions. The most notable is standing yapping right in front of me. <laughs> and who's to say that uh, he's not sleeping with the person who shot you? Well, maybe she's right. And you are. Hmm. You really know how to get me going. You think me getting shot is funny? No. I will tell you what is absolutely hilarious. Is this you two? C come on, Liam. You need me and I need you. You know it. That's it. Uh, Time to go. me out. Cheerio. Listen, about our arrangement, let's split the jobs. You take care of the business side in the boardroom. I'll take care of the more hands-on side in the back room and we'll enjoy the fruits of our labour in the bedroom. Sounds good. Put all those arguments about cricket bats and percentage shares in the past where they belong. Just like Mercedes. Hello? Is there anyone there? Frida. I am moving out. Because you sent my innocent son to prison. But the, the way he played me, the way he betrayed me with grace, maybe he did shoot me? No, no, no. Don't you even try it. You lied to the police, you lied to your family, and you lied to me, and I believed you. I protected you like my own daughter. And I am proper grateful. You know, I don't know how I would have got through this last month without you get, getting out of hospital, rebuilding my life. <laughs> and what life is that, eh? You've got a tacky pub, an ice-cold heart, and an empty bed. You're the only friend that I've got left. Not anymore, love. No, please. I will do anything. I will pay anything. Just please stay with me. Loyalty cannot be bought. <laughs> But the creep that shot me is still out there walking free. It could be anyone. <laughs> no. Please don't leave me. They will come after me. And they are welcome to you. What are you doing here? Doing? Your brother. Are you not worried that you're sleeping with the person that shot Mercedes? Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs>